I had an interesting thing happen to me yesterday, uh, an interesting Ho'oponopono story, and I'll share it just briefly, and then I'd love to recommend that um, we just do a little bit of group Ho'oponopono. Um, I attended uh, an orientation with my son at a local university uh, where he's contemplating attending, and we took a tour of the campus with many many other parents and students and so we were among it felt like thousands of people uh, really it was it was a lot of people and uh, at a certain point we found ourselves back in a ballroom with this probably a thousand plus people it really was that many and um, we listened to a succession of speakers and I felt more and more uncomfortable <laughs> as the moments went by through this it wasn't the speakers it wasn't anything but I just felt all this apprehension and I felt um, just uncomfortable basically and so after a while I realized whoa I you know I, I should just do something about this this is not this is silly to just sit here and I looked inside of myself I, I remembered the the precepts of Ho'oponopono and I looked inside of myself and I saw some patterns of apprehension about how to pay for college. I saw apprehension about um, the son, my only son, uh, leaving school, leaving the home and going to school and you know maybe the the kind of scary possibilities around that and I also realized at the same time that what I was feeling was not just my own stuff and it was all these other parents in the room and their apprehensions and their their concerns and so forth and it was I could feel it because I had some of that myself and so it was an interesting Ho'oponopono opportunity there I felt and so I, I diverted my attention mostly to my internal part of me and I could see in a sense that I was not a crystal I it wasn't clear I saw patterns of these concerns and so forth and I vowed okay well I'm gonna own this and I'm going to clean it and in the the, the spirit of Ho'oponopono, I just started repeating, I love you, myself, my patterns, all parts of me, the crystal that I was gazing at that was not quite clear anymore because it had sort of a soiling to it and which represented the patterns of these concerns and agitation and less than perfect, uh, I guess, regard for these situations. And I just kept at it and I kept at it and uh, probably for a half hour or so and at one point my, my wife kind of nudged me she says well you're doing your yogi trance thing you know why don't you not look so weird but I said I've got to do this and it was um, it was kind of funny but you know what I felt better and better and for brief moments at times I could see the the crystal window pane cl crystal clarity of myself at times as I was just pouring this pink ruby light in a, in a sort of emotion almost like cleaning a window you might say you know and then maybe another pattern would come and I'd, I'd own it again and I'd just love it I love you I trust you forgive me for you know having this apprehension and having this lack of trust that that was one thing that I noticed at the time was it seemed like a pattern of just uh, agitation uh, and not trusting God for providing for the safety and providing for a beautiful divine plan for my son and boy I'll tell you after maybe about 40 minutes of this I my day just soared it was awesome the rest of the day and I can attest that this this just doing this work which didn't require me to decree out loud or anything like that it was very very powerful and I can't attest to how anybody else in the room felt but you know I really truly believe that it probably helped many other people and so I thought I'd share this with you and I did like to invite you to just right now in the spirit of what I was just talking about <clears throat> just go within yourself right now and search and look and feel to see if there's any concerns see if there's anything that's less than just joy and jubilation and notice if there's a pattern like that and maybe just 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 gaze at it a little bit and then just love it and let's just give the Ho'oponopono mantra together and as we go through this let's see our day proceed before our eyes and 
and at times we might see some things that might be snags, little things we've got to do for people that we're a little bit concerned about or, or work with people that we're not always necessarily happy to work with or there's, there might be some thing in our path in the future coming up in the next day or two that we're not looking forward to and let's let's bring those into this this sphere right now and let's love them free all that energy pat all that energy free i love you i'm sorry please forgive me thank you i love you i'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love 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 you free. I trust you, God. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for joining me this morning. I enjoyed it and I uh, want to wish you all uh, a blessed and fun and wonderful day. Thanks. <laughs>